What you're looking at is a chick embryo model that was created in the 1880s by either Adolf or Frederick Ziegler, a very famous family out of Germany that made wax models. And they were used to teach um, embryology in classes um, at universities all around the world because an embryo would be too small, um, too fragile and delicate to have shown off to a whole class at that time period because there wasn't a lot of photography, there were no computers, there was no projection screen uh, in your auditorium and so they had to come up with a different way of teaching embryology. This is a liquid cooling ventilation garment. It's basically long underwear to go under a spacesuit, and it's filled with hundreds of feet of tubing, which water would go through to help keep the astronaut cool while they were in space. This is a bazaar, which is a kind of a fancy word for hairball. This is from a cow and it formed in its stomach after it would lick its hair. The hair would move back and forth in the stomach, just like making felt. And so you end up with this giant felted ball of hair. This is a hard-headed customer. This is a Cape Buffalo, which are, um, they're about a thousand pounds. Um, when they're on the big side and the males hit each other in the head um, and because of that they actually have sort of a really cool skull. They have a skull that when you can see inside has all of these little gaps and holes in it that would be filled with soft tissue and ligaments and things like that to help cushion the impact, kind of like a football helmet. And that's all to protect the brain which would be down inside this brain cavity. Mm -hmm. 